So because it usually doesn't make sense for us to, you know, try to talk to everybody to do a census, uh, usually we need to create a sample. And so there's a variety of ways in which we can create a sample. Uh, and so let's talk about those, and let's talk about them through examples. So suppose that we could somehow identify all the likely voters in a state, and we want to, uh, create a sample of all those voters, uh, in order to ask them how they're gonna vote in the next election. So one option would be to write all their names on a piece of paper and toss those in a really, really big hat. Uh, and then, you know, put a bunch of all these little slips of paper, all these names in the hat, and then draw a thousand slips out of the hat, kind of like a lottery. So this sampling method is called a simple random sample. Simple random sample. Simple random sample means that all options are equally likely to get selected no matter what. Uh, it, it's a equivalent to putting a bunch of names in a hat. Now, of course, people don't actually use large hats. Uh, instead, they do things like put all the names in a computer and have the computer randomly select names. Uh, and that would be a simple random sample. Now, that's not always practical, though, or sometimes it's not even desired. So, for example, suppose that in a particular state, uh, previous data has suggested that the electorate was approximately 39% Democrats, 37% Republicans, and 24% Independents. And so, in a sample of a thousand people, let's say we're doing a political poll, we want to make sure that we get about 390 Democrats, 370 Republicans, and 240 Independents. Now, one option would be to go ahead and do our simple random sample. Uh, and just sort of hope that everything works out okay, uh, cause chances are it probably will come out pretty close. But another option would be to, uh, select, randomly select from 390 people known to be Democrats, 370 who are known to be Republicans, and 240 for those no political affiliation. This is assuming that people have somehow indicated their, p uh, party affiliation. So this is a method called, this is a method called stratified, sampling. The idea behind stratified sampling is that we take our entire population and we divide it into groups. So we divide our entire population into groups and then we sample, uh, a proportionate to our, our, our desires. And so I'm gonna randomly select do, 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 do. I'm gonna randomly gonna select 390 of these, of these Democrats, and I'm going to randomly select 370 of these, of these Republicans, and 240 of these Independents. And so we've pr divided our population into groups, and then we randomly select from inside of each of those groups. Very similar to this is an idea called quota sampling. So this is called quota sampling. And it works the same way, except instead of starting by dividing the population into groups, we just start to start randomly sampling people. So we go, okay, I'm gonna grab you and you and you and you and you and you and you. And we keep on going until we meet our quota of 390 Democrats. So let's say I've sampled, you know, 600 people and I've already talked to 390 Democrats. I call up the next person and say, hi, are you a Democrat or Republican? And they say, I'm a Democrat. And I say, I'm sorry, I already have enough Democrats, so I'm not gonna talk to you. And that is the idea of quota sampling.